Okay, man. FBI is in, in what, what about the HDMI cable? Huh? Where do we put HDMI cable? I can't understand you. Where's the, the HDMI cable? Jim, what do you need? I can't understand you. Which input does the HDMI cable go in? It goes on the one on the bottom left. The very bottom? Yes. All right, give it a try. No? All right, please wait. Hey! Perfect! Tilt and Flitter G! Huh? Good, clear communication. Yeah, it's the way it was meant to be. That's what it's all about. All right, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples from Emmaus told what had happened on the road and how they knew he was the Lord when he broke the bread. While Jesus' disciples were talking about what happened, Jesus appeared to them and he said, May God give you peace. They were frightened and terrified because they thought they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus said, Why are you so frightened? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands, look at my feet, see who I am. Touch me and find out for yourselves. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones like I have. And after Jesus said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And the disciples were so glad and amazed that they couldn't believe it. Jesus then asked them, do you have something to eat? And they gave him a piece of baked fish. And then he took it, and he ate it as they watched. Jesus said to them, While I was still with you, I told you that everything written about me in the Law of Moses and the books of the prophets and the Psalms had to happen. And then he helped them understand the Scriptures. And he told them, The Scriptures say that the Messiah must suffer. Then three days later, he will rise from the death. And... They also say that all people of every nation must be told in my name to turn to God in order to be forgiven. So beginning in Jerusalem, you must tell everything that has happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, kids! You ever play the game Telephone? You know, when I was a younger kid, we'd play that game all the time. And the game of telephone, yeah, right here. The game of telephone, you sit in a circle and one person starts with a message and they whisper that message into the person next to them who's sitting next to them, into their ear. And then that person shares it with the person sitting next to them and the person next, sitting next to them. And you try to get that message to make its way all the way around the circle. No, inevitably, during the course of that game, somebody in that circle mixes up the message, and then passes it along. So the goal of the game is that the same message that you started with, you end with the same message. 
like I said, most of the time, the message gets confused and misunderstood. So the message that you end up with isn't the same. You know, kind of very similar to the skit you saw Jimmy Dean and I hanging up that new TV behind the coffee bar, right? We, we couldn't understand one another. The masks were preventing that. You know, do you ever have a hard time understanding the Bible when you read it? I know that I do. You know, Jesus' disciples in the gospel today, they had a hard time understanding the Bible, understanding the scripture, which was the Old Testament. And they walked with Jesus. They lived with Jesus. They listened to Jesus teach. And even they had a hard time understanding the scriptures. But you know what I find interesting? Is when Jesus revealed to them everything in the scriptures, they immediately started to understand. They immediately started to put the pieces together. They immediately started to get the message right. You know, so when I think about times in my life where I may not fully understand a story in the Bible, I got to remind myself that the disciples, until Jesus changed their hearts, they didn't fully understand the message either. So what can we do to better understand God's word in the Bible? Well, I think a good idea would be to pray about it. Ask Jesus in prayer to change your heart just like he changed the heart of the disciples. You know, my guess if you do that, Jesus is going to change your heart He's going to open your heart. He's going to open your mind to be able to, to understand his message so that you could share his love with others. Give it a shot. Give it to God in prayer. He will reveal that clear message to you. Thank you so much for joining us this week. And like always, Go, go God, go. go.